Many older beginners and even longtime beginners are drawn to the first position of the minor pentatonic scale when you start improvising. In this video, the concept is simple. Instead of finding the root note on the E string here, we'll use D for this example, find it on the A string, fifth fret right here. Using a D minor chord, right under our fingertips is the minor pentatonic scale. We don't have to just jump up here to the first position. Use the notes that are right at your fingertips. It took me many years to grasp this concept. I'm going to show it to you today, so grab your guitar and let's get into it. So looking at the D minor pentatonic scale for these examples today, root note in the 10th fret. But we're really going to be looking at this fourth position. There's a D minor chord here. The D minor pentatonic scales right at our fingertips. So the fourth position, D minor pentatonic. Some of you might already know that position also. But when you can easily connect these two positions with the fifth position of the minor pentatonic scale. They all go in order. So the fifth position is still the root note in the 10th fret. So a great way to start connecting these three positions is to take the center of the scale. So if we just take five, seven, five, seven, seven, ten, seven, ten, and then back to the root note, ten, twelve, ten, twelve. Back to the root note. So if you use the center of the scale to move to each position, and then you can play through some of the other string sets, but this is a great way to start connecting these three positions together. We don't need to think of every single note in every position when we're soloing. And again, that's why I showed you this, this simple string set with the D and G strings. Then run down the rest of the scale. Again, just take those string sets. Getting back to the root note every time until you learn this stuff, then you can do some other chord tones, but get back to that root note. The scales right under your fingertips, no matter where you play a chord at, you're going to have a scale under your fingers. Fun, fun stuff. Breaking out of this first position is, is a lot of fun because you, you start having more freedom on the fretboard. And never abandon this first position because it has a sound all its own. But if you use the fourth and fifth positions an inch up to that first position, it's going to open the fretboard for you, give you a lot more possibilities. Try this over a D minor jam track and you'll have a blast also. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. 
Let's talk soon.